Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews. In this episode, we take a look back to my very first and only game so far that I purchased for the full retail price of $69.99 with God of War Ragnarok and its DLC with Valhalla. Playing the game instantly when it was released in late 2022, I haven't picked up the game since, but I did love my time with it as it was my favorite game for the PlayStation 5 so far. Of course, my backlog of games are still forthcoming and I hope that does change. But I can't deny how complete I felt from beginning to end this gaming experience gave me. When Valhalla DLC was shadow dropped a year later, I was excited to jump back in and now I finally have time to give it a try, especially since it was 100% free of charge. Of course, I forgot how to play the game, so I played the final chapters once again to get a feel for the combat as friends of mine noted that this is very much combat heavy and boy were they not lying. The game is described as a roguelike style of game where it is traditionally characterized with a dungeon crawl as you customize your character and attributes as you grind, and I mean grind, through the game to make yourself stronger. I'm not against the grinding as long as you do it right. Once I got started, I was happy to see you pick up from where you left off as a continuation from the end of the story still gripped me as the dialogue between characters was still pretty much top notch. The story is why I came back and was happy to see its exploration with Kratos as he explores his past and what it means to him today. This was the main reason I played this expansion and I really pushed towards the end. Although I knew the story of Kratos' past with the original series on the PS2 and PS3, it was nice to see those elements return. Who else knows of this entrance? Odin and us. It's likely a trap. You're thinking of going back in. Would you join me? Oh, don't let me intrude on your personal matter. Besides, I can't. Unlike the two of you, I've never died. The visuals are what you would expect, especially in the story cutscenes. However, the world itself is a bit bland and I wished for more, but again, I was spoiled by the original game and expected as much. The gameplay and combat is where the format really tests the player. This is great as you push through and slowly getting stronger as you gain more abilities, armor, weapons and of course lessons on why you died. It is a nice progression system that doesn't frustrate you. Before we go back in, perhaps we bargain with Valhalla. Improve our chances. Shield Maiden. Your reward. Valhalla appreciates every step of your evolution. I never got frustrated with the combat. It was who I was doing the combat with. Once you repeat over and over again, you realize very quickly why the game was a free DLC. I never felt wowed as I pushed to see the next plot point. It was more like a struggle to do the levels again to push myself through. The world is a set of levels that has you jump from one to another as you eventually fight your way to the boss that reveals another part of the story. After this, you do it again with stronger enemies, the same boss but harder and need to strategically fight to survive as you repeat the stages again and again and again just to see another plot point. Left side. Honestly, I love combat and leveling up, but the repetition of the same world designs that they have you do over and over again gets quite hard to push through. Even if they would recycle worlds from the other parts of the game, I would have loved the journey much more 
but the continuous grind through the levels with harder enemies just dragged on and on for me. There were times where I wanted to quit, but I pushed through to see the final story segments that left me ultimately happy I completed it, but was also why did I push myself so hard to do so. God of War Ragnarok Valhalla DLC gets a 7.0 out of 10 for its great story with callbacks from Kratos' past that was dragged down by the repetition of the world, enemies, and combat that could have been so much more. That's it for this look at Valhalla DLC for God of War Ragnarok. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Be ho out and great. Take us out of here and I will see you all next upload. Do you really think you understand the purpose? This still feels reckless.